It's your boy DJ Jack, and I'm sitting down ever since recently where there was a hack of Sony servers where people have found out that executives are talking shit and also people found out exactly how much these actors are really making. We've also found out what the future plans of Hollywood is. Now, we've now found out that Spike Lee actually plans a film and it's going to be a sequel to uh, his 1988 college musical School Days where... It's supposed to star Kevin Hart, but not only Kevin Hart, but also hip-hop superstar Drake. Now, Drake is supposed to play a character called, and I'm not lying, this is really his character's name, it's called P-ness. And uh, apparently, uh, Kevin Hart's supposed to play a character called That Nigga Jigga. Now, the budget is $9 million, which is a good amount of budget, but that doesn't even include what people would be getting for uh, star salaries and also cost for like um because it's going to be kind of dated i believe um cost for the sets or whatever the case is and also producer fees so th that's pretty decent i would watch it i mean i think drake and i think the SPs really showed us that drake is a good talent he's good at acting i'm not saying he's the best but he playing that very awkward guy that could make awkward jokes and kind of fit into the mold that we kind of really think he is he, he's pretty good at that he's kind of multi-dimension and the thing about him as opposed to most rappers, you didn't see him tattoo a bunch of shit on his face where he, if he goes to a movie set, he has to get all type of shit covered. He does have a couple tattoos, but it's kind of hidden. And I'm um, Kevin Hart. He's in every fucking thing. Kevin Hart, uh, hey, listen, I think it's a movie where when I watch black college movies, and I'm guessing it has to be a co black college movie because Kevin Hart and Drake, right? When I watch black college movies and I'm thinking about Drumline, I think they're dope, man. I'm thinking about even Stomp the Yard. I'm, I think they're dope. Now, this might have a throwback feel or whatever the case is, but I think this is actually cool. Now, I'm not even sure if this is going to still get made because all these things are getting leaked, but apparently the premise is really, hey, listen, uh, it's about really setting a individual. I'm not sure who it is, and they're going to kind of put them where it's like a fork in the road between choosing a life of... Um, hip-hop entertainment, and also pursuing education by going to school, which a lot of people face nowadays. A lot of people, everybody want to be a fucking rapper. But people also are getting pressured by their parents, or they probably know they should go to school because chances are you're not going to be a fucking rapper. So it should be a, a, a dope thing. And, um, of course, I believe Drake could make some really good music for the soundtrack. I usually love the soundtrack for those movies more than the movies because the soundtracks and i'm not sure how they actually choose those songs but it's usually really inspired and the songs are really good so we'll see what comes out of it and we'll see uh if drake actually makes his big screen debut at least within hip-hop after he got big and we will see um how that goes so what do you guys think about drake actually being in the movie with kevin hart and what do you think about him possibly being the lead man of the movie would you watch it I mean, listen, um, was it Mac and Devin with uh, Snoop and Wiz? It was cool. It was a cool movie. Cool movie. Like, I enjoy movies like that. Like, if you guys haven't even seen, there's a short film that YG just put out, and it's called Blame It on the Streets. It's on the website if you haven't seen it, but I think those are dope. I like to see hip-hop artists at least embrace the art portion of being an artist. Embrace it. Listen, yeah, we want to see you in film. We want to see, we want to see to a certain extent. We don't want to see you completely cross over, but we want to see you appreciate art. We want to see you bring things within the culture because that's how you get it to the next level. I love Dave Bond. I love Get Rich or Die Trying movie, even though some people didn't. I loved it. I like those movies, so I would love to see this. You guys get in the comment box. Let me know what you guys think about it. Do you want to see Drake acting in that capacity or not? Nah? Are you thinking until he fucking snuffs back Puffy, you don't want to see shit about him? So get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe, man. I'm out.